One of my favorite passages is Psalm 78. A generation is going to teach the next generation so that they will be prepared to teach the next generation that they can teach those who are not yet born. That's one of the things that these camps can provide. We are considering this as a long, long-term project that is going to affect generations to come all over the Northeast and really even beyond that. Soul Camp is a young men's camp, roughly ages 12 to 18. Far Camp, very similar ages for young ladies. This is an opportunity for them to get together, for them to build a bond, for them to see that they're not on this road following Christ by themselves, that they have other people their age who love the Lord and are wanting to do what's right. If everybody could be at camp for one day, I think a lot of people would be excited about what's going on to see that number of young men study after study after study, focused, listening, enjoying it, the bonds that they make, the attention that they pay. A lot of adults would have a trouble working as hard as these kids do. If you were at camp for one day, you'd be really impressed. Every year that I've been there, there's a moment where I'm sitting in class or having a conversation with someone, and I think, if I had stayed home this year, I would have missed this. So worthwhile. I don't go there feeling bored or worn out. I go there and then I feel strengthened. Every staff member would agree that there is an equal and mutual benefit that we all receive from this camp, both from the campers, you know, really blessing us with their enthusiasm and their energy, as well as me just sitting in on all the classes just like the rest of the campers do. So there is really a camaraderie between all of the older and younger men that are there. It's like this growing excitement rather than diminishing, it grows through the week and by the end of the week, they're, they're talking about next year. And I've had a lot of girls come pretty leery the first time and tell me how much they enjoyed it as the week goes on. When all of the young ladies are together singing and I participate in that and I look around and I imagine each of these young ladies as a light. And it is such an encouraging picture to be singing and to be seeing all of these lights together shining so brightly. But I get really excited when I think about, this has been a wonderful week together, but from here, it's about what we do with this. But to me, this is all about growth. It's about your spiritual growth. And when you go home and you take what you've got this week and you make it help you grow closer to God, be a better child of God, that's gonna affect your family, it's gonna affect your community, it's gonna affect the Lord's body where you are, and that's what we're doing here. About two years ago, we found out about this property that was for sale for extremely low price, 210000 the price of many people's homes. It's almost four acres, 25,000 square feet building space for the camps, dormitories, chapel area. It's going to need some renovations, but the setup here is practically ideal for what we want to do. When we used to rent facilities, they would cost $12,000 just to rent for two weeks for Soul Camp and Far Camp. And that's in the off season. And so by getting this facility here, you get it and then it's available. We can have the camp when we feel the young people will be able to gather and, and meet their needs schedule wise. One of the things we're also wanting to do is use this facility for weekend retreats ladies retreat, men's retreat. When we think about buying a piece of property that can house a hundred kids and staff year after year, it's a bargain. But you know, you can't always afford the bargain. And so we are asking for help. One of the things about contributing to a good cause is not everybody can do everything, but they want to be involved. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be involved in the spiritual growth of young people in our country? in our churches. I believe that if people invest in this property, they're investing in the lives and the souls of the kids that are able to come to the camp. You're giving somebody the opportunity to grow spiritually, hear lessons that they need to hear, and have conversations with men and women that they wouldn't have an opportunity to in another way. When we're presented with an opportunity we need to be able to give an answer to God about what we've done with the opportunity that we've been presented with. We are investing in God's family having blessings that they can use together to grow closer to Him. 
What we do at the camps is an act of faith. The money that the Lord blesses us all with is seed to be sown. With the young people that can be impacted and then the people that they go and teach, the people they go and influence, the people they go and talk to about the Lord. The field here is white for the harvest and the laborers are few. Sow some seed here. Help us grow this harvest.